Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I have a little bit of, I don't know, pep talk, teamwork, talk for you. <laughs> I never was a cheerleader, but I suppose I could have made a good one. But anyways, so what do I feel like this community is lacking? Maybe, maybe not lacking, but maybe we haven't discovered the power that we have, I'll word it that way, <laughs> the power that we have to manifest and create a powerful, loving, serving, service to others reality. And how I learned, like I was kind of blessed with this early on in my younger years, <laughs> but, um, <laughs> Okay, I'm trying not to like make myself laugh too much, but I and I say bless, but it was a choice that I made and I'm joking because I'm talking about my career as a nurse. So I was before I did this before I quit my job and worked as a psychic I worked as an intensive care nurse. And the teamwork that it goes into saving people's lives is like impeccable like you have to have extremely good teamwork trust in your team and you may not like each other but guess what there is a common goal to save that patient's life and when you code someone when you resuscitate someone that's part of my job was part of my job i loved that job if the medical industry wasn't so messed up like i would still be doing it but when you go to resuscitate someone, there's someone doing CPR, there's someone recording, there's someone pushing the drugs, there's someone usually running and getting different drugs because every situation is different in the unit. There's a respiratory therapist or a doctor that's intubating the patient, securing the airway. There's someone with a Doppler getting the pulse. Everybody has a role, everybody has a job. This is also how the military works. Everybody has a role, everybody has a job. You don't have to like each other, but if you wanna stay alive, you are gonna work for that common goal of having each other's backs. And this is exactly how I feel in the truther community, in the spiritual community, in the UFO community. If we want to overthrow the cabal, the people that enslave us, we have to work together. There is no other way. You may not like Becky next door or Bob living next to you or so-and-so on the internet, but if you have the common goal of freedom, guess what? You have a lot more in common than you think you do. <laughs> so you cannot, we cannot save ourselves unless we start to work together or at least learn to have some common respect for each other, right? And I was, I'm, I am and was very lucky to work with people who I respect and admire so much. And when I worked, when I worked in ICU, and this is right around, like right before COVID started to hit, right? And I was the only person in the unit who had the same, like who had these kinds of beliefs that I talk about on the internet. There was nobody like that had the same belief systems as I did. Like no one that even came really close. I mean, there were some maybe conservative people, but I wasn't like, but I needed them to do my job and I needed them to have my back so that I could take care of my patients, right? And vice versa. So I wasn't ever like, you know, so-and-so who has the patient next to me, that nurse is, you know, a Democrat and I don't like her and so I'm not gonna help her patient, blah, blah, blah. Or I don't like what she's wearing or she gave me a stanky look. No, I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. It's too stressful. Like we've been through too much trauma and it's too stressful to continue the behavior and to continue the lack of respect. Where we go one, we go all. If we knew how much money these people invested into pinning, pinning us against each other, oh my God, we'd be like, bye Klaus. <laughs> He'd be fired instantly. 
these people live for this stuff. The people that enslave us, they need us to fight with each other so bad, so bad, because once we come together and learn how to work together, it's over. It's over for them. And nothing, not a solar flash, not the Galactic Federation, not the U.S. Navy can force us to choose, because it's a free will universe, to do that. So that's why I make so many videos about taking your power back and the path of spirituality. And this will really trip people out. Like, signs someone is on the spiritual path is if they take accountability for their actions. Oh, look, it's my kitty. That's Luna. <laughs> they take accountability for their actions. They're always in a state of self-awareness or self-discovery. So they're trying to discover themselves. What are my triggers? Why does this person trigger me? How can I be a better person? How can I choose faith every day? How can I choose love over hate or love over fear every day? And how can I help other people? And how can I discover my purpose in this world? And you don't have to be, you don't have to believe in aliens. You don't have to believe in truth or stuff to have those good qualities, right? And a lot of people that I met in nursing have all of those qualities. They just don't understand the way the world is or certain things that I know about the world. Does that mean that they are not worthy to go to 5D? No. <laughs> What? <laughs> that doesn't make, right? That's, a, that's an uh, illusion of separation. That's from the ego. And that also comes from, that comes from a different energy source that doesn't come from source. So, sign, so someone could be on the spiritual path. They just don't have the same belief systems as you, right? Um, signs that someone is not on the spiritual path is they project and blame other people. They don't look inward, they look outward and blame their problems on other people. They, you know, name a mean person from high school or a mean person that you've met. We know, I think it's obvious when people aren't on the spiritual path, but I'm too tired and too lazy to actually list any reasons, <laughs> honestly. So anyways, that is my cheerleader pep talk we will not get ET disclosure unless we learn this stuff because they're all looking at us like, please work together. <laughs> and so, yeah, so love you guys. I'll be back with more videos.